like this child because that child was nothing like him. And I said, do you realize how self-centered, right, and how lazy you are? Because what you're saying to me is that the reason why you like this child is because they're like you. You're so self-involved. And you're lazy because you don't want to get to know this child. They're nothing like you. You don't want to put the time in to find out who they are. And so therefore you then shun that child. See, this truth isn't just for the church. It's for our home. And we may not be as spiteful, but we have to be very cautious. Now, at times we do that with our kids. I wish you could be more like your brother. I wish you could be more like your sister. No, 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 no. We're different. I'm thankful for my parents. They've treated each one of us as they raised us as individuals. We had same rules, same household, but we were all different, and we were dealt with that way. Our job as parents and it starts with husband and wife, right? Because everything trickles in the home. It starts with husband and wife first, mom and dad. We need to figure out how this works. Not just in regards to our children, but what about our marriages? What about our marriages, right? Many times we want our wives to be like us, to do things the way that we do things. Listen to me. For how the worst house is going to work, sometimes you have to let go of things that you like. There are things I prefer. I let go of them because it's not them. And I could be a burden to my wife and kids if I had everything the way that I wanted. I would leave them. Their life would be miserable because I'd be constantly on, do it, do it, do it, right? And I would be hounding them. And they're not issues. They're just personal things. And you just have to learn to let those go. But we can do this to our spouses in which we want them to be us. They're not us. It's the beauty of God's design. We're radically different. Les and I are totally different. Totally different. It's funny. Was that we got engaged. We were going to go through premarital counseling. A friend of mine, he was finishing seminary. I was just starting. Pastor Ken Unruh, he was going to do the counseling. We met with him once, and I had my accident, and then we had just an onslaught of bad, bad moments in our life. It, Church stuff, everything, right? So we had all this stuff piled on us. We met with him once. And it's interesting because after we were married, we were talking, and he shared this. He didn't tell us this at the beginning. He said, you know, the first time I met with you two, I looked at you and I said, these two should never be married. They do not belong together. He said, when I watched the two of you go through all that you went through, he says, you absolutely belong together. That is totally of God. We're totally different. But we work. And we work really well. But you have to understand, you are totally different and you cannot expect your spouse to be you. You just can't. You have to understand that God has ordained unity, but he's ordained it to be accomplished through diversity. These truths, the unifying purpose of God, have to be brought down in our home. I leave you with that. The rest are up for you to wrestle with. That's just one aspect of Ephesians. But I think it's an important one, wouldn't you say? That we might walk in unity together, but we might do that in the diversity and the uniqueness that God has made us. Let's pray.